if I had to kind of shrink the definition of harmony, and sometimes I think that's a, a valuable thing to do, is to kind of boil it down. Here's how I describe it. Harmony is a person who has harmony promotes collaboration by managing conflict and maintaining practicality. And if I would boil it down even further, I would say it's this. It's getting along with people so we can get stuff done. I am convinced that uh, a lot of people with harmony, even though we call this a relationship theme, it many times has a strong performance orientation. And it's really kind of this tension that people with harmony, I think, live with. I want to get along with people, but I also want to get things done. So in order for that to happen, we're going we're, we're gonna to work together. I think sometimes people think that this is kind of a rare theme. It's actually... Uh, uh, it's, it's seventh most frequent in top five in our database of over 10 million people. 19% of all people have harmony in their top five. So it's in the top 10 of themes. And so it's, it's one that we really see, see quite frequently. Uh, if I were to kind of come up with some words, maybe some nouns that I think help to define harmony and help us get a picture of what harmony uh, productively applied can look like, Words like mediator. I find that people with harmony are often in the, in the middle of stuff, <laughs> in between people, in between situations. A negotiator, arbitrator, ambassador, diplomat, pragmatist, peacemaker would all be some words that I would use. Some adjectives that I might use and uh, would be practical, con conflict, concrete, Conflict reducing, collaborative, agreeable, task oriented, diplomatic, down to earth, and smooth. <laughs> it's just a word that I hear people that have it. They're they're kind of smoothing things down. And uh, Sherry and I have come up with a a gesture, a harmony gesture, <laughs> and we'll do that right now. Let's just calm down. That's a good <laughs> harmony gesture. Right that may be my next uh, next project is coming up with theme gestures. <laughs> And they will not be obscene gestures, by the way. <laughs> um, so uh, the, those are just some of the brief thoughts about harmony. Uh, I was looking for some quotes about harmony. I haven't done that very much, but I found some, some what I think are pretty good quotes that relate to harmony and fr from some fairly influential people people here. This is what Mahatma Gandhi said. He said, I suppose that leadership at one time meant muscles, but today it means getting along with people. Um, another one was Theodore Roosevelt said, the most important single ingredient in the formula of success is knowing how to get along with people. And I think at the core of harmony, that is what it is. How do we get along or, and how do I help other people get along? This is another interesting, interesting uh, uh, quote that I found. This is from C Steve Goodyear. I'm not sure who Steve is, but I like what he said. He says, we don't get harmony when everyone sings the same note. Only notes that are different can harmonize. That is true with people. And I think, and I've heard Sherry talk about this a little bit, is, is I think people with harmony want different voices to be heard even different voices. It's, it's when all of the voices are heard that there truly is some harmony. And, um, and then Martin Luther King, one last one, he says, a genuine leader is not a searcher for consensus, but a molder of consensus. And that's a very different thing. It's, I sometimes say it this way, it's, uh, it's, it's not about I need peace, I know how to bring peace. I know how to help people get along. Um, Let's see. I think there are some themes that I think can help that can moderate harmony. Themes that uh, that uh, maybe complement it. Maybe uh, it's interesting when I see harmony high on a profile. A couple of themes that I often see lower are strategic and ideation. Those two themes are are often themes that kind of bring disruption. If you if you've ever heard of disruptive innovation, they kind of create tension when there's new ideas and the other th reason I think ideation and strategic are often widely separated from harmony is they are kind of what I would call out there themes. You know, it's people who live in their in at 30,000 feet and I think to some degree harmony is a it's a it's a theme that's really on the ground. I think it grounds people. It's kind of we often call it kind of down to earth kind of people, concrete 
practical, stable in a lot of ways. Um, let's see, anything else that I've got here? I think sometimes it's good to think about what these things can look like uh, um, in, in roles. And so I have uh, done some writing about of how you might be able to use your theme as a parent. Uh, you call your calm, down-to-earth approach to life will bring stability and practicality your, to your family and home. Uh, also, as a collaborator, uh, I've done some writing about uh, themes as collaborators. Uh, Harmony as a collaborator is always people bringing people down to earth emotionally and intellectually. He or she is convinced that when people get too high or too low, there are problems. Let's not waste time or energy getting too angry or too afraid or too you too euphoric or too philosophical. Let's just work together. 